Hello, beautiful people. So, sometimes the plans that we make don't work out. And it's very frustrating. Especially when you put a lot of time and detail and attention to the plans that you made and you just know for sure everything is lined up, right? And it doesn't work out. So our response to something like that can make or break us. Depending on the extent of what it is that we're planning. Let's say for instance, we know that we need to get a different job, right? And we've put in application after application and finally we get to a place to where um, we've gone on three or four different interviews with this company. Seems like the perfect company. We have all the reasons for wanting to be at this company. Everything is working out. Um, you put in a lot of time and investment into this. You've even started planning out your budget and how your finances are gonna look because of this job that you think you're about to get. And then for no apparent reason, unbeknownst to you, it doesn't work out. You don't get the job. Um, that can be devastating. It can be traumatic. You feel as though you've wasted time, attention, energy, and you're angry. There's a lot of emotions going on. And how you respond to those feelings can make or break you. So you can do the natural things that occur normally in any human being, right? You're upset, you're disgusted, your anger is to the point where you just want to quit. You want to give up. You just knew for sure everything was going to work out and didn't. So now you're thinking, what's the point in me trying? Why would I even, I'm not even going to go through this again. I quit. I'm not going to apply for any more jobs. You have all of these thoughts, all of these emotions, all of these words that form from these thoughts. And then your behavior changes, right? You stop applying for the jobs. You completely give up. You're like, well, you know what? I guess I'm just going to be stuck here, whatever the case may be. When things don't go as planned, instead of giving up, try doing something a little different. Try saying, okay, thank you, Lord. I didn't get it for a reason. Maybe it was something about that place that wasn't going to connect to the purpose you have for me. Try doing that. Try saying, okay, I understand that I don't know it all and clearly there was something greater than me, bigger than me at play here that didn't align with the universe and I wasn't supposed to be at that place. Try being like this. What can I learn from this? I put in a lot of time, attention and detail into this. What can I learn from this? Is there a way that I can contact that employer and say, Hey, just for learning purposes so I could improve. What was I missing? Was there anything I could have done differently? How can I grow from this experience? When you look at things half glass full, opposed to half glass empty, it determines your next steps. Why are your next steps important? Because that one failure puts you that much closer to where you're actually supposed to be. So I wanted to say that because I felt like often we have these things that go on that we have no control over, right? And if we don't have control over a situation, why then do we allow it to affect us so deeply if there's nothing we can do about it? Right. So in some situations, there are things that we can do about it, but not all situations. So the things that we can control, that's what we focus on. And what we can control is 
how we respond to the devastation. Because how we respond is going to determine the words we use. The words we use are going to determine the actions we take. And the actions we take is going to determine how far we get to our next step, where we're destined to be. So I wanted to quickly share that with you guys. Um, I hope you guys got something from it. Just a very quick word because I know it affects us all too often. So hope it was beneficial. Um, you guys send me a comment. Um, hit like if you found anything in that helpful. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.